So here we are going to explore our Linux operating system by using some of your commands. So let us start with exploring the Linux operating system by Linux file system management and the file management. So let us start with how we are going to manage the files. So before that, we should know what the type of file generally we have into the Linux operating system. So basically, it is divided into three different parts called as the ordinary files, then your special files as well as your directories. The ordinary files are those files like whatever the data you store, whatever the programs you generally have or any particular files you generally store. Everything will be treated as a particular ordinary file. The next we have that is called as a special file. Now as I discussed into the earlier slide, so all the devices we generally have into the Linux operating system, either it is a directly attached device or it is a hot plug and play device, all this will be treated as a file into the Linux operating system and get stored into slash dev directory. So this particular Linux operating system even treat everything as a file. Even your hardware, like your hard disk, your hard disk partitions, your floppy disk drive, CD drive, and any of it. So these particular files are called as a special files. And then we have a different division called as directories. So directory contains all these files. Either it is a special file or ordinary file. You can store anything into it. So by default, the directories which we have by the Linux, they generally store all the different kind of file into different directories. Along with that, you can also create your own directory and you can store or locate whatever you want over there. So here we are going to start with some of the commands. So very first, I'm going to take you commands called as PWD. As we move into the Linux operating system, we move into the terminal. First, we should know where we are right now. So if I want to check my present working location or present location, we can use the command called as PWD called as present working directory. So wherever you are, it will show you the complete path of a directory by using the PWD command. Same way, if I want to check apart from my location, which are the directories and the files are located into this particular directory, for that we can use ls command. ls is nothing but lists. So you can list all the directories, all the files into the directory where you are located right now. So it will generally show only the list or the names of the directories and the files where the directories are by default in blue color if you are using the terminals and generally the black color if you are or white color if you are using a file. So the files are listed in white or black and generally your, your directories are listed into the blue color. Same way if I'm talking about your Linux command called as ls space hyphen l. ls space hyphen l is nothing but list and long. So list and long means you want to list everything about the files and directories which you have. You want to check what are the particular files are, when it is created, which type of file it is, what is the permission, who has created the file. So each and every detail about the files and directories will be listed by using ls space hyphen l. We can check the demo for it. If I'm using ls space hyphen l, you can find first it is listing you the permission. So how to check out this permission, how to view about this particular permission, we'll come to know later. But generally it contains the permissions about the user who has created a directory as well as the groups and the public users. The next group which we have that is called as a memory block. So memory block is nothing but it generally stores your data into the memory and it provides a memory block number to you. The next we have that is the owner column. This will show who has created this particular directory or who owns this particular directory or a file. The next we have that is called as a group column. This group column will show you which group this particular root owner or any particular owner of the directory or file is following. So the number of users who are added into this particular group will get the permission which we have assigned for the group. The next we have that is size in blocks. It will show you the data into the bytes, not in megabytes or a gigabytes. So you need to see what the bytes and you need to calculate into megabytes and your gigabytes. Next we have, it will show you the column where it will show you at what time and at what date you have created this particular file. Means it will show you the date and time of creation of the file. Along with that, it also shows you when the file is been modified or when the directory is been modified. The last one we have that is files or directory name. So you can find 
this white color of file generally it is a basic a ordinary file which we have the green color is some of your log files so it is kind of a special file the next blue color is your directories so basically you will find this columns into your linux command or linux particular terminal by giving command ls space hyphen f let us check into the linux console now so right now i am on red hat linux operating system of the latest version version 7 now I want to move into the terminal. So either if you can move into the terminal by pressing Alt Control F1 or F2 that you have the console or we can say a command line terminal generally you get or directly you can work from here itself. Now if suppose I want to work from here itself uh, with the terminals and with the commands I can go directly into right click and go into the terminal. So this terminal will take me on the desktop as I have right clicked on the desktop. So you can see this is the prompt. And to this prompt we get first as a trainer. So this trainer is nothing but the user with, from which I have logged in. So this is the trainer. Then you have at the rate, at the rate the machine name. This is my machine name. So I haven't set any machine name. So by default it have taken uh, local host. The next is your desktop so desktop is a directory where I'm working right now and this is the dollar sign so when you uh, get access to a particular standard user which or we can say a limited right user you get a dollar sign now if I want to check the complete path of my desktop so I can give the command pwd so pwd is showing you I am under slash home slash trainer on the trainers desktop this is the pwd command now if I want to create a directory or I can create a file on the desktop itself by using the terminal or by graphics so from graphics you can directly go here and uh, create a new folder over here you can keep create a file over here but if suppose I want to create it by using the command prompt I too can before we create a file or directory let us check how we can check the existing files and directories so if I want to check existing files and directories into the trainer or into the desktop we can directly give command ls so there is nothing right now now I just want to move out of the desktops and move into the trainer so I'll give the command cd space double backslash so it will move one step out so now we are into the till symbol so it is not showing you where you are because you are by default into the home directory so let us check I'm into my home directory slash home slash trainer now I want to check what are the directories and files are created into the home directory I can give the command ls so let's is showing me all the list of my directories which I have created over here same way we can also give the command ls space hyphen L and you can see ls space hyphen L contains all the directories along with the six columns which we have seen your permission the memory location the user or we can say uh, owner and a group of your directory when we have created directory and what is the name of your directory so this complete detail it shows you about the you know files and directories which you have over here so this is how generally we use ls commands so there are again lot of parameters of using ls, LS commands you can either use ll also ll is again the same thing long listing so again it will give me the same output we can also use ls space hyphen i so i indicates an i node numbers so this is, it is showing the i node numbers of each and every directory which i have created same way ls space we can use a so it will show me all the hidden files you can see dots which have written on the or following the file name just we have added a dot that means these files are hidden files so even if you want to create a particular hidden file just need to add dot in front of a file name the file will be completely hidden so this way you can check for a directories and a files list by using ls command so into our next video we will be able to see how we can create our files into these directories and how we can work on it.